he, he did so much in founding Gay Men's Health Crisis, in founding ACT UP, which saved countless lives. I might not be alive today if it were not for Larry Kramer and his heroism and bravery and the work that he did in getting HIV drugs available. So, um, and there was also as angry as he was and as volcanic as he could be, he was also a very sweet person when you got him one-on-one. -on -one. I remember uh, when I was uh, 24, uh, I used to walk and meet him outside of his building on uh, Lower Fifth Avenue and we would go and watch his dog get groomed together. And he would sit with me and talk to me and uh, counsel me and give me advice. And, um, and you know, that building that he lived in was the same building that Ed Koch lived in. They lived wow. in the same building. Wow. And uh, Ed Koch and Larry Kramer, of course, did not get along. Wow. And there was a story about how uh, uh, Larry's little dog that he would walk every day when he would be in the lobby and Ed Koch would come in, this was after uh, Koch was mayor, uh, Larry would scream at Ed Koch and the building told him he was going to be evicted and thrown out of the building if he didn't, he could never speak to the mayor. He was not allowed to talk to him. So in the future, what Larry would do is, Larry would look at his dog and he would say to his dog, that is the man that killed all of daddy's <laughs> friends. So he technically wasn't speaking to Ed Koch, wow. he was speaking to his dog. So Larry was a hero to me. Uh, a lot of people are mourning right now. I'm thinking of his husband uh, who took care of him for so many years. And uh, he's a hero that changed the course of the world, literally. Uh, and it is um, sort of Shakespearean in some ways that Larry Kramer, who was the prophet on the HIV and AIDS plague, that devastated the world uh, died during uh, this pandemic, which is devastating the world. Um, so I'm thinking of him and I was thinking about him last night and I was going back and looking at old uh, notes that he wrote me. I found one last night that he wrote me that said, uh, why are you responding to me? You're usually a very good pest. Write back to me or I'm calling you. You know, that was Larry, and I'm grateful that I was able to have a personal relationship with him uh, where uh, I got to know every side of him, the volcanic and the sweet. So thank you for saying that, Henry.